When the James Webb Space Telescope was launched, scientists hoped it would help explain more about the universe. It was meant to give us a clearer picture of how everything began and how galaxies formed over time. But what it has shown us is far more confusing than expected. Instead of just answers, Webb has brought us strange new questions that challenge what we thought we knew. In the deep, early parts of the universe, Webb found mysterious objects that don't fit into any known category. They are too small to be galaxies, too powerful to be stars, and their color is unlike anything we've seen before. These strange red-colored objects had never been seen until now. They were invisible to other telescopes, but Webb's ability to see in infrared light revealed them. Scientists started calling them Little Red Dots, a simple name for something incredibly complex. But no one really knows what they are or how they came to exist. Some believe they could be the missing link between the first galaxies and the enormous black holes that we now see at the centers of those galaxies. Others think they might be leftovers from a time when the universe played by different rules. This feeling of confusion isn't new. About 70 years ago, astronomers discovered another mysterious object called 3C273. It looked like a star, but its light was strange and very energetic. At the time, they didn't know what to make of it. It flickered and glowed in ways no star should. Later, scientists realized it was something new, a quasar, a powerful light source fueled by a black hole. Quasars changed our view of space. They showed us that black holes could be incredibly active and bright. Now, Webb is doing the same thing again, revealing objects that may be even stranger. Webb has found hundreds of these new red objects. They look a little like quasars but behave very differently. They're smaller, dimmer, hidden in dust, and only visible in infrared light. Before Webb, some of these faint smudges were seen by Japan's Subaru telescope. They were called Shulkus, short for Subaru High Z Exploration of Low Luminosity Quasars. At first, they were thought to be just distant galaxies. But their light was too red and too bright for their size. When Webb looked closer, the picture became even more puzzling. These objects were wrapped in thick clouds of dust and gas. The gases inside moved incredibly fast, speeds that can only be explained by the pull of a black hole. But the black holes didn't make sense either. They lived in galaxies that were too small and behaved in ways we've never seen before. They didn't match any known pattern. Then, scientists noticed something else. The shulkus and the little red dots shared many traits. Both were small, dusty, bright in infrared, and only appeared in a narrow window of time, around 600 million to 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang. Before and after that period, they vanished completely. This raised a haunting question. What kind of cosmic object can exist for only a billion years and then disappear forever? Webb's deeper studies gave even more surprises. The light from these objects didn't match the usual signals we see from galaxies or quasars. They had chemical fingerprints that didn't make sense. Some of the signals suggested energy levels that stars couldn't reach. Others flickered in ways that looked like unstable reactions, possibly caused by extreme pressure or temperature. It's possible these objects are made of unknown materials or that they follow physical laws we don't yet understand. Maybe they're the result of conditions that existed only in the early universe. Another strange discovery was the way some of them changed brightness. Their light pulsed in a regular pattern, like a heartbeat. This wasn't from stars or dust, it might be from matter falling into a black hole in rhythmic bursts. Or maybe we're seeing echoes from long-lost events, still rippling through space and being caught by Webb's powerful sensors. These pulses might be messages from a version of the universe that no longer exists. If true, 
That would mean we are not just seeing distant objects, but ancient memories written in light and gravity. These findings could point to a time when the universe had different rules. Even more surprising, these mysterious objects might not be rare at all. There could be millions or billions of them hidden behind thick clouds of dust, scattered throughout the cosmos. Webb showed that they cluster together in patterns, forming filaments that look like the large-scale structure of the universe. But they're much more compact and energetic than normal galaxies. Some scientists think they might be the first building blocks of the universe. Maybe everything we know came from these early structures. But if that's true, where did they go? In the deep silence of space, these tiny red lights whisper something both humbling and haunting. We do not yet know the universe. Subscribe to our